Every weekend, Book TV brings you 48 hours of history, biography, and public affairs. Here's a quick look at one of our programs. That process, that day that the knock on the door came, sort of an, an extremely warm May afternoon, um, was dramatic and some federal agents showed up and very calmly and quietly told me I'd been indicted in federal court here in Chicago and I needed to appear at my own arraignment or be taken into custody and then they left, which is very unusual by the way. Um, often people are taken away in leg shackles. Um, and I don't think even on that very day that there was any question in my mind that the consequences would be very, very serious. Um, and they were. Um, almost six years later, I walked into prison. There was a lengthy delay around my case. And the community of women that I found there, um, part of that time spent in a minimum security federal prison camp in Connecticut, but part of that time also spent in maximum security facilities in Oklahoma City and here in Chicago, blocks away from us, um, were not what I expected. They were not what I expected in terms of the people I met, nor were they what I expected in terms of my joining a community of women brought together by the consequences of our actions. Um, sometimes fairly, as in my case, and sometimes, you know, I would say unfairly. And one of the things that was important to me about telling this story, one of the motivating factors in terms of telling this story was the opportunity to use my own experience and my own story, which is very specific, the story of a person who had every opportunity and screwed it up and failed rather dramatically, um, in contrast and comparison with the stories of the women that I lived with for over a year, many of whom never had a single one of the opportunities that I've enjoyed and whose paths and trajectories are very much related to that lack of equal opportunity. You don't have to wait for the weekend to watch our programs. Watch online at booktv.org and follow us on Twitter.